All right, here we are uh, again. Uh, this is math tidbits number eight. And I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, ex uh, do some examples of derivative usage. Okay, again, primarily designed for refresh or renew or new info or whatever, depending on your calculus background. Um, so we're going to exercise all of the, the various combinations, particularly of the more challenging um, variety. And uh, we'll make sure we hit all the, all the basic rules. So suppose we have a uh, value of a function y of t that is equal to h plus vt plus one half a t squared. Um, very much uh, very familiar for those who've had physics before, of course, this kind of an expression. Uh, it's a constant acceleration uh, equation where h, v, and a are constants. So we want to know what dy dt is. We simply look at this is a sum of three polynomial or a sum of three powers of t. Um, derivative of the first, the derivative of a constant with respect to any variable is always zero. Uh, derivative of vt, derivative of t with respect to t is one, so the derivative of vt is just v. And the derivative of uh, 1 half a t squared is going to be simply plus 1 half a. That's a constant out front. Times the derivative of t squared, which is 2t. I pull that 2 down, leave behind a 1. And so this res uh, result is v uh, plus a t. And that is the velocity equation for a constant acceleration, but more on that later. All right, uh, second case, we want to take, um, uh, I'm going to take a product here. So y of x is equal to x times sine of x. All right, the product rule for derivatives requires us to take the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So the first is x. Derivative of the second is cosine x. And then we take the second plus sine x times the derivative of the first. <clears throat> derivative of the first is, is 1. So um, we're finished here, right? That's that. All right, number three. Let's take maybe a less familiar product here. y of x equals x cubed times the natural log of x. So dy dx. Again, first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. First is x cubed. Derivative of the second is 1 over x, and then we have the second, log x, times the derivative of the first, 3x squared. I take 3 down, put it in front, that's 3x, and then the 3 becomes a 2, so 3x squared. So this then is x squared plus 3x squared log x. All right, and we can even be more compact than that, I guess, and say this is x squared times 1 plus 3 log x. All right, number four. Uh, we'll take a, a ratio here now. So y of x equals x to the fourth over x squared plus 1. So the derivative of a, a, uh, a ratio 
uh, is this is the one in which we take the low times the derivative of the high minus the high times the derivative of the low divided by the square of low, or ho de high minus hi de ho over ho ho, if you like. So uh, the low uh, is x squared plus 1. Derivative of the high is 3x, uh, sorry, 4x cubed. We subtract then uh, x to the fourth times the derivative of x squared plus 1. The derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. And then we divide this by the square of x squared plus 1. So we could simplify matters just a little bit. Uh, this would be 4x to the fifth plus 4x cubed minus 2x to the fifth over x squared plus 1 squared. Slight uh, improvement uh, can be had if we combine the x to the fifth term. So then it's 2 times x to the fifth minus, uh, sorry, plus 4 times x cubed over x squared plus 1 squared. All right, uh, next, number five, we can do a little more complicated ratio. How about sine of x over cosine of x? Again, let's take our um, the lower, uh, the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. So cosine x times the derivative of the uh, numerator, which is cosine x, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. This is minus sine x. And we divide this by cosine squared of x. Well, the numerator is cosine squared of x plus, because of the two negative signs, sine squared of x. Divide this by cosine squared of x. And this is 1. So this is 1 over cosine squared x, which you may know as the secant squared of x. Uh, this, by the way, is, ah, uh, all right, this is meant to be dy dx. Ooh, boy, did I make a mess of these things. I started compactifying. There we go. So the derivative with respect to x of tangent of x, because that's what sine over cosine is, is the secant squared, okay? As you all might remember from trigonometry or pre-calc or what have you. All right, a uh, couple more. Let's take six, number six. Uh, let y equal e to the minus bt. And I want to know dy dt. Well, this is a, a chain rule application. We have y equals e to the minus u, and u equals bt. So um, that means we need dy du times du dt. Well, dy du, the derivative of that expression, e to the minus u, with respect to u, um, I pull a minus sign down minus e to the minus u. And then I need to multiply by the derivative of that with respect to t. That's just b. So this is minus b e to the minus bt. All right. One final one. We'll try to squeeze into the bottom here. Uh, let's let... Let's consider the area of a circle 
as the circle's radius changes. <clears throat> All right. So we want to take the derivative of, we want to find what is the derivative of a with respect to t. Now we could do this in, uh, in, in, by simply substituting vt. So v is a constant here. I just like b is a constant up here, which I forgot to mention. So we could do this by taking vt and plugging it in for r and then explicitly taking the derivative with respect to t. But I want to use the chain rule um, uh, as, as, uh, as we're practicing it. So this is dA dr times dA dt. Well, dA dr, I've got a constant times r squared. So dA dr is going to be 2 pi r. That's interesting enough. That's the circumference, in fact. Uh, it's going to be 2 pi r times the derivative of r with respect to t, which is just v. So the area is growing, or shrinking, if, if v is negative, as the circumference times the velocity of the end of the radial vector as it goes out. That's Kind of, kind of neat. All right, um, yeah, that's it for um, this t this uh, particular uh, episode, and we will um, connect again later.